let's address some of the common questions that have come in from vaccine providers. Can providers pull an additional dose of vaccine if available? While some providers are finding extra doses in Moderna and J&J &J vials, the official dose count remains six doses per Pfizer multi-dose vial, 10 doses per Moderna multi-dose vial, and five doses per Janssen multi-dose vial. CDC recommends that healthcare providers follow the dosing guidance from the manufacturer as outlined in the emergency use authorization. Visit the CDC website for resources to help avoid administration and storage and handling errors for the three vaccine products currently under emergency use authorization. How soon do I have to report COVID-19 vaccine administration after vaccinating a patient? Vaccine administration should be documented in your medical record system within 24 hours of administration. All efforts should be made to create or maintain an HL7 connection to eye care. But if you're still in the process, you must report administration data to eye care no later than 72 hours after administration. You also must report City of Chicago COVID-19 inventory in Vaccine Finder within 24 hours. If you're receiving federal vaccine supply, additional reporting requirements may apply. Should vaccine recipients be required to pay for COVID-19 vaccination? The answer is definitely no. Vaccine recipients should not be charged for any COVID-19 vaccine expenses. However, if recipients are part of a program or insurance plan that covers COVID-19 vaccine administration fees, then providers can seek appropriate reimbursement from that program or plan. This could mean contacting a vaccine recipient's private insurance company, looking into Medicare or Medicaid reimbursement, or the HRSA COVID-19 uninsured program. Please ensure your billing department does not charge patients whose insurance doesn't cover vaccine administration fees. And please report these insurance companies to CDPH so we know. For additional information on filing claims for reimbursement of COVID-19 vaccine administration fees, go to the HRSA COVID-19 Uninsured Program website or visit the CMS website for additional guidance. Can vaccination providers vaccinate people outside of priority populations? So we get this a lot. Vaccination providers should not waste any viable vaccine doses. Vaccination providers are required to administer vaccine to prioritize groups based on local guidance. However, we recognize that on occasion, this may not be possible. So if members of prioritized populations are not available, efforts should be made to administer vaccine to qualified individuals rather than wasting doses. Facilities must continue to prepare only enough doses to accommodate scheduled demand for each clinic day. If despite such efforts, the facility has vaccine doses that are expiring near the end of the clinic day, these vaccine doses may be administered to available qualified individuals, regardless of prioritization status. The provider must not receive any direct or indirect incentive for vaccinating these individuals. Note that overdrawing vaccine intentionally at the end of a vaccine clinic violates the terms of the CDC COVID-19 provider agreement.